Dick, the shelling that occurred outside of Florida is depicted both in the book and in the miniseries as being very intense, very uh, deadly, a lot of casualties. Yes, right. Worst shelling you witnessed, the, I mean, compared to Normandy, Holland, Bastogne, I mean, it just seemed that way that the shelling in the woods was pretty bad. Well, the shelling was, it was a different kind of shelling. In Normandy, we were faced, the shelling that we were faced with at that point with airborne troops and so forth, and at that early stages, was mostly with 88s. That's direct fire and not indirect fire. Of course, we had some mortars, but uh, we didn't have the the shelling, the type of shelling that we had, say, in Holland or Bastogne. Because, say, in Holland then, uh, as it worked out, we were on the island again here. The Germans are on the north side, and they have the higher ground. And remember, they're not too far from home. So their resupply of ammunition is very good. They're in the high ground. They can see every little movement we make on the south side of the island uh, uh, while we're on the island. And so we're perfect targets for any movements that we make. And the shelling was brutal. And uh, if, when you live through that, you've lived through the worst. But it, Again, it's a matter of where you happen to be at the time of the shelling. If you're in the center of a, uh, a cross fire or, or of a concentration, there is nothing worse than that that can be imagined. And uh, it, it, I don't care where you are. Now, you could be down the line a little bit and not be involved in that direct fire that you're under with the concentration. That's one thing, but uh, uh, now at Bastogne, there again, we're under, when you mentioned Foy here, uh, I consider that Bastogne. Uh, so that the uh, artillery were under Bastogne, that was by far the worst that we received as a unit for everybody. Because we were, if you look at that map I just pointed out to you and shared with you here, and the units that had us surrounded at uh, Bastogne, if you look at the map and uh, you can see the units that have us surrounded, you'll see a, a lot of artillery. And uh, during the uh, demand for our surrender from the Germans, there, the, Christmas time, um, part of his, uh, the way he had that demand worded was the fact that uh, surrender or I'll shell you off the earth. I have the art, he had, in other words, he had the artillery, he felt, to do it. And there were times that we weren't too sure he was right. Uh, because when he concentrated that artillery, such as he did on our area, 2nd Battalion, Company E, uh, like on the 9th of January, uh, oh, it was brutal. And uh, uh, the picture here, Band of Brothers, speaks for itself. It does a very good job. It does a very good job. and having you share the feelings of of uh, of that time. Look, you live this every day. You live this every day. You have you have recall and uh, you don't live the whole thing every day, but there are segments that will pop up every day and any time of the day and of course you're you're keeping it to yourself. You're not going around talking about it. Well, we sure appreciate you talking about it.